Hi, I'm Madame Pamita, and this is Madame Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com. Well, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to do a love spell to draw your soulmate to you. Now, whether your soulmate is someone who you know or someone who you don't know, you can use this beautiful lodestone spell to bring that love to you. So the first thing you're going to need are 13 candles, all in red, 12 slim tapers, and one big taper. You're going to need a tray to put them on. You're going to need two prepared lodestones, and if you've seen my video about working with lodestones, you'll know how to prepare a lodestone and get it ready. Um, and you'll need some herbs. In this case, I'm using Damiana, I'm using Lovage, I'm using red clover as well. Lastly, you'll want to have a condition oil for bringing in love. Good examples of that are like this one, love me oil. You can also have um, attraction oil, Dixie love oil, Adam and Eve oil. There's a lot of love oils that you can use, but love me oil is the one I'm going to use in our example today. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your tray, set up your plate with your 13 candles. And how you do that is you're going to take each candle and um, soften the bottom of the candle wax and then place it directly on that tray. These candles are beeswax candles, so they're particularly soft and easy to work with. Beeswax is also great for love work because it has that extra honey sweetening effect. Now you're going to take um, those candles and you're going to dress them with your condition oil. In this case we're using Love Me Oil. And you're going to put the oil on in an upward motion on each of these candles. And then when you've completed all 13, you're finished. The next thing you're going to do is use your herbs and add your herbs to this spell. I'm going to make a line behind the candles, first using red clover. Red clover is good for bringing a beautiful, loving, affectionate, and sweet relationship in. And then next, <coughs> I'm going to add some lovage to make that love committed and faithful. And then finally I'm going to add some Damiana. And the Damiana is to draw that love to me and make the love very, very passionate, very sensual. As I add each of these herbs, I can speak my intention of what it is that I want them to do. For example, Damiana, make my love beautiful, passionate, and romantic, you know. That's an example. Now we're ready to do our work. If you've watched the lodestone video, you know how to identify the lodestones as male or female and how to prepare those lodestones to do the work. Now these lodestones have been prepared and they're ready to do the work. So what we're going to do is start out with our lodestones at the first candle, separated and far apart from each other. One representing you and one representing the soulmate that you want to draw in. That first night, you're going to light each of those candles, just the ones next to your lodestones. And when I say night, it can be day or night. It doesn't have to be at night. I like to do work at night, though. It's calmer and quieter. You bless those candles and you say, bring my love to me, bring my soulmate to me, soulmate of mine, come to me. You leave your lodestones there and you let your candles burn down completely. Each night, over the seven nights, you're going to move your lodestones one step closer to the next candle. Light those candles and again, say your intention for bringing that soulmate to you. As you move them closer and closer each night, you're drawing that love to you. When finally, on the seventh night, all the candles will be burned except for the large taper in the middle. And that is the point where you want to have those lodestones together and touching. You burn that candle with that intention, with your prayer of love coming to you. 
and again you leave them there overnight. Once those lodestones are together, feed them with magnetic sand, um, dress them with lodestone oil or dress them with a love oil and keep them there on your love altar until your love comes to you. As with any candle, these are small candles so they easily burn in an hour, an hour and a half or so. But you never want to leave a candle unattended. So if you're going to go to sleep or you're going to leave for a while, snuff the candle out and then relight it again the same day. I'm Madame Pamita and this is Madame Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com.